One of the most important narrations we find in the Bible is the narration of how the earth stood still for the sake of God's children. Joshua chapter 10 verse 13, So the sun stood still and the moon stopped till the people had revenge upon their enemies. Is this not written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and did not hasten to go down for about a whole day. Joshua was leading the Israelites to battle when he spoke to the sun to stop and the moon to stop. The Bible recorded that since that day, nothing like that has ever happened again. Joshua chapter 10 verse 14, And there has been no day like that before it or after it, that the Lord heeded the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. Not only does this narration remind me of how intense and mind-blowing God's love is, but it also reminds me of how incredibly powerful He is. It reminds me that God has authority over every created thing. It reminds me that our God is unstoppable. Nothing has the ability to stop Him, not even the forces of the earth or the laws of nature and science. Somehow, we might have always thought that the only unbeatable force in this world is the law of nature. But God has proven to us that He made nature and He has control over it. Let's take a look at the story together. Joshua chapter 10 verse 12 through 14. At that time, Joshua spoke to the Lord in the day when the Lord gave the Amorites over to the sons of Israel. And He said in the sight of Israel, Son, Stand still at Gibeon, and moon in the valley of Elon, and the sun stood still, and the moon stopped, until the nation took vengeance on their enemies. Is this not written in the book of Jasher? The sun stopped in the midst of heaven, and did not hurry to set for about a whole day. There has been no day like it before or since, when the Lord heeded the voice of a man. For the Lord fought for Israel. The Israelites were at the war front, and time was no longer on their side. It was getting dark. All Joshua did was cry out to God, and God heard him. Not only did the sun and moon stop so that Joshua and his army could continue fighting, but God also caused a mighty tempest to attack the Canaanites with rain and hailstones. God did more than Joshua asked. This affirms what Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. God will always do much more than we can picture in our hearts. Joshua chapter 10 verse 8, And the Lord said unto Joshua, Do not fear them, for I have given them into your hand. Not a man of them shall stand before you. Joshua stood on God's promise and refused to give up even when it looked like they would not have the victory God promised them. Time was no longer on their side, but he held God by his word and dared to believe the impossible. Now let's look at your life. What impossible situation are you going through? You see, time was running out for Joshua. So what do you do when time is against you? What do you do when the clock keeps moving and you are not where you thought you would be in life? What do you do when the years and months keep flying by and the wrinkles on your face begin to form? I want to remind you, never lose hope. Have faith in God. Just like Joshua, even in the face of the toughest challenges, keep your faith alive. You see, God can give you the ability to accomplish something that would normally take 30 years to accomplish in one day. He is not limited. You are limited. And that's okay. Your resources have limits and that's okay. But I encourage you to trust in the God who has no limits. Yes, the situation looks bad, but believe in God. Hold on to the Lord thy God. But there are two things you need to do. Firstly, have faith in God, and secondly, don't give up. Hold tightly unto His promises. God deliberately assures us with His word ahead of time so that we have something to hold on to when it seems too tough. 
Joshua held on to the promise of God in Joshua chapter 10 verse 8. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Do not fear them, for I have given them into your hand. Not a man of them shall stand before you. And you should hold on to the promise of God in the Bible. Hold on to the word of God. Search and seek for scriptures that will strengthen you and allow you to endure. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 12 For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. There is no situation too tough for the Father to handle. As long as we call to him, he hears us and answers us. The problem with many of us is that we fail to call on God in our difficult times. If you are going through a difficult season in your life, don't get desperate. Don't get distressed. Don't forget God. You have a God who is in heaven, who has his ears open to hear your prayer. Instead of praying, we resolve to complaining and talking to people who have no help to offer us. God moved because Joshua called out to him. If you want God to move for your sake, let him hear your voice. Cry out to him. All the help you need lies in him alone. The devil will try to keep your lips sealed. Speak to your father. Our prayers move God to action. Pray about that situation. God specializes in making a way where there seems to be no way. He parted the Red Sea. Who could have thought? He made water flow out of a rock. He sent ravens, the stingiest of all birds, to take food to Elijah. Right from the beginning of time up until this day, God has been specializing in the impossible. Dare to believe God is able. I am sure that when Joshua was in the middle of that battle, and he realized he needed the sun to stand still. He had flashbacks of the God who led the children of Israel out of Egypt, and that built up his faith. I am sure Joshua saw God sending the plagues in Egypt, the frogs and the lice and the boils, the deaf angel. He saw God separating the Red Sea and turning their enemies into fish food. He saw the pillar of a cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. He must have gone back down memory lane at the fact that God had never failed him. Wait a minute, the same can be said in your life. If we look at your life and all the times God has come through for you, has someone here been healed? Has God made a way for you in the past when there seemed to be no way? Look back through all you have been through. Don't forget God. He hasn't brought you this far to leave you here. Yes. The odds may not look in your favor, but you have the favor of the Lord over your life. Don't be defeated. Get up. Don't be pessimistic about the situation. Get up. Don't be disheartened. Get up. Don't stay down when you have been knocked down. Get up. You are not going through life alone. Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them, for the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. 1 John chapter 4 verse 4 You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. What power is in the world? What are people saying in this world? Are they saying it is not possible? Are they saying there is no way for you or there is no help from the Lord for you? The Bible says the one in you is greater than the powers in the world. Do you have God in you? It is a pity that many Christians don't know the power they carry in them. I am telling you today that no matter what you are going through in this life, your challenges are not bigger than God. The situations that are causing you to shed tears are not bigger than God. The people standing against you are not bigger than God. Nothing in this life is bigger than God. This is the reason why you should remain bold and remain strong. Remember, greater is he that is in you than that which is in the world. God knew you before you were formed. He knew everything about you. God is with you and God is for you. Get this out of your head that God is against you. 
God is not against you. He is for you. And if God be for you, who can be against you?